What's poppin'? It's your boy D. Crenny here with another album review from one of Brooklyn's finest, Young M.A. Young Ma, I don't know what people call her. I believe it's just Young M.A. Standing for me always. I didn't know that. That should have been a fun fact, but I think I had a better, a better fun fact. So we'll run with that. Young M.A.'s debut album, Her Story in the Making. Released September 27th, 2019. It currently has seven singles, which could be another fun fact because I had no clue. There's also a plethora, plethora of producers. Zaytoven, Mike Zombie, NY Bangers. Amadis, Amadu, Amadis, sorry, but that guy, Dr. O, Bruce Leroy, Trilogy, I, it's all kind of people on here, um, shout out to the production, Young M.A. can rap, so there's some bars on here, for sure, big gripe for me is how long it is. 67 minutes with the bonus track with the bonus track being a single as well 67 minutes it's an hour and 10 round it over it feels long it feels very long overall I, i'm kind of i listened to this a, a number of times i listened to it in a car I've listened to it at home and it's okay. It's I, I definitely been anticipating the album. She has EPs. This is from her follow up, her EP of her story. I'm pretty sure I, this is the follow up of that. And I think New York for sure. All of her fans, but most people for fans of rap in general have been waiting for this project. I want to give it multiple listens. I think she's a really good rapper. I think she's one of the, the solid female rappers in the game to go along with Nicki, Cardi. She probably falls right in there. I mean, Megan Thee Stallion's out. She's new, but she's been around. Young and has been around for a while. She's been rapping for a while. And she can rap. Fun fact for Young and May, me always. <laughs> Lee Daniels offered her a role in Empire to be Betty Bars. She declined it, which smart for her, because I've always said I'd have never been on that show if I was a rapper, because I don't know if any of those guys or girls in that show are going to be big, at least from rap. And they made music, which if that works for them, that works for them, but Young M.A. released this project on M.A. Music, which I'm guessing is her label pretty sure is her label so just that alone is a feat that most artists can't even say they they can do but without further ado let's get into the review number one no mercy the intro is a single i feel like it was meant it was she wanted to make this the intro it feels kind of forced and maybe it wasn't an intro originally and then just her ear or her people's ear felt like it should have been the intro. But I just feel like she was reaching for a powerful intro and it feels forced. It's, it's, it's okay. It's nothing special. It's just, it starts off slow. It brings that intro vibe in, beat drops, then it fades out slow. I mean, it's cool, but it, it's... It's not, I don't think it's what she was looking for, from my opinion. Number two, the come up. This, I felt like, should have been the intro. It's good. It's a good song, and it sounds, the sound, for me, feels like an intro. And then the feel of it, the vibe of it, feels like an intro. It's her sound. So I feel like her sound should be what the intro should have been easily three big single this is when i knew i wanted to hear this 
I heard this on Twitter at first, and then I saw the video and whatnot. Went to YouTube, headphones in. This bang, she got bars. Video's dope. Solid track. Number four is Cold World. This has a Tobin on it. I say that because the beat was spooky. And spooky is good. Real good. The bars are here. Chorus, kind of weak. But the beat, vibe to it. Immediately, as soon as I turned it on, first listen was in the car. Notes came out immediately on this. This was the first track I wrote notes for. Beat, bangers, Atobin. Great job. Number five, Petty Wop. Another single. The 808 stuck out to me. So in the car, they sound kind of light. And the reason I say that, because in my headphones, they sound a little bit more bass. But they stuck out because... The 808s, the bass bangs in most of her songs and most of her production. So that, that stuck out to me. The song has a cool vibe. Didn't care for it. Didn't write anything down for it. Didn't stick out to me. And there's a number of tracks on here that just didn't push the envelope for me. I just didn't have much to say. I just guess I guess you can just listen to it. There's no assessment to really make, which isn't good or bad. But I, I think that kind of... It's an early telltale for my review here. But cool song. That was number five, Petty Wop, the single, a single, one of the seven singles. Number six, The Lifestyle. This sucks. I don't want to say that, but this sucks. The chorus, the bridge, just not a good song. I won't talk about songs I don't like because there's nothing to say. I don't like them. Number seven, Smooth Criminal. Maybe it's a New York sound. Maybe it's a New York vibe. This isn't good. I didn't like it. I feel like it's another track, you know, back-to-back -back tracks that just probably could have left off. You know, you got 21 tracks. I think you should, you know, compress that down and kind of get rid of some 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 music. But another track, number seven, I didn't like. Number eight, Stubborn Ass, another one of the seven singles. It's a nice conceptual relationship song about, you know, her and her chick being stubborn. I think it's a good song. I mean, honestly, it's something you could just you could just chill to. Everybody can relate, I'm sure. You know, relationship songs, you know, people being stubborn. It's probably one of people's big gripes in relationships. Everybody wants to be stubborn. So it's a cool song. She talked about it, how she rapped about it. Laid back, laid back bars, laid back vibes. She just kind of feel like she did this in her sleep. It's a good song. I uh, like number nine, R N I D. Real N word I D. Probably could say the N word. Not acronym track. Laid back track. Kind of boring. She fits stubborn ass right in front of this, which is good because if if it went six seven nine for me, I would have probably been. Thinking about taking a break. Kind of boring. Like I said, laid back track followed by laid back track. So it's like, whatever. Number 10 is interesting to me because I hated it at first. I really hated it. So like I said, we're getting to the meat, the meat of the album, the middle of the album. And I'm like, I don't like any of these songs. And uh, clearly on the first listen, I thought it was corny. And then it just grew on me. I, I remember, you know, early listening to it. it was, she was talking about, I give her that ding dong. And there's re sexual references in here, but that one stuck out to me because it's the chorus, and I was like, "Ding dong, come on!" Like, so it really kind of just it was just kind of corny to me, and it just kind of annoyed me. I was like ready to skip it. I, I played through everything. So I listened to all 67 minutes and 31 seconds. I listened to every single minute of this album. Fast forward a day or so believe a day gave it some time to marinate i turned this on and i'm banging to it like oh man this is this 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 is hard so i mean i really enjoy this song number 10 she like i'm like the idea of just listening to music don't just you know don't just take it as the first listen sometimes you gotta adjust to it and you may like stuff you didn't like before number 11 numb it's like a love love song memoir I won't go on i don't didn't really have anything else to say about it besides that. Love song memoir. 
songs I don't really care for, but this one was okay, but if okay is 5 out of 10, I guess it's 5 out of 10, or 2.5 out of 5, whatever you want to call it. That's 11. Number 12 was Bipolar. It's like an interlude, venting lyrics. Once again, something else that could have been left out. I mean, you as artists want to have interludes, so it's cool. I don't really count interludes. It's a two-minute track. It's venting lyrics. It's an interlude. 13 Bleed, another one of the seven singles. We finally get back to the M.A. sound. We finally get to the, back to the young M.A. sound. It's hard. N.Y. Bangers. N.Y. Bangers. This bangs. Number 13 Bleed. It's tough. 14, No Love. Don't like the chords, but there are some bars on here. Two back-to-back NY banger tracks. This this was, you know, you get like I said, I'm I'm getting to a point where I'm kind of drowsy with it, and then these two songs come on, and I'm like, okay, we getting back into some 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 dope music, and then my favorite track comes on, number fifteen. Car Confessions, another single. I was really impressed by the lyrics on here. This is easily the best song on here. Easily the best song on here. It's the best beat, the best lyrics, the best vibe. Beat and production going together, but I'll say it again. Best production. Beat is nutty. That just complements the bars. Then it's car confessions. She talks about the beginning of the song. We all have them. It's, you know, that's what we spend most of our time. Car confessions, man. Car confessions are real. And she talks about it. Dope, dope song. I won't drag it out. But number 16 is foreign. It speaks for itself. I, I didn't like the song. I didn't write any notes for this song. I couldn't. It's just whatever. Especially after the last song. I said the last song is a really good song. You know, it could compete with just about anybody's best songs all year. And you back that up with four and it just was kind of a downer for me. 17, another acronym track. Never need a N-word again. Featuring Real Bay and Max YB. Max YB, I believe, is on the chorus. Does a great job. This is way different than all the other songs. I like the switch up, but I feel like it was just too late. Like, th- if she could have slid this in at six or seven, maybe even nine, that would have been slick. But all the way down to 17, where we're getting into the hour, you know, we get into the hour mark of the album. And granted, I'm sure most artists make their albums now that they know people are skipping tracks they don't like. So what does it matter? But I think you don't want people to turn it off or not get there, get to a point where I didn't like, I didn't like 14. Why listen to 15 through 21? You know I mean? I think people should always hear artists projects, especially if they took the time out to download it, listen to it, or even buy it. I, I do like the song. Um, originally didn't. Once again, second listen, I do like the song. So, that was 17. Track is actually called N-N-A-N. Acronym track. 18, my hitter. Filler track about her girl being her hitter. Instead of her dudes, homies, or whatever. Don't think this is a good song. 19, Sober Thoughts featuring Max YB again. I like this. It's a really good song. Music you just vibe to. Just straight up vibe to. Probably easily the second best song on here. You can argue it, but this is this is a solid track. And once again, this is why you listen all the way through because a lot of the times I find out that later on in the albums, these are the better songs. But this review might possibly be fairly long. So you might not even get to this play in my review, but if you did and stuck around, you could turn this on. 19... And then 20, the outro, crime poetry outro, one of the best outros I've heard lately. This is how you do an outro. It bangs, bangs hard. This is nice. Nice track. 
NY bangers. It seems like all the NY banger productions bang, which makes sense. And you send a name, they probably like, look, look, MA, we can't rock if this don't rock. So, shout out to them cats. I don't know if they're girls or boys or whatever they are, but shout out to them. 21 is the bonus track. Petty Wap 2. NY Bangers again. Just like they don't actually produce the first one. Amadis, um, Bruce Leroy, and Dr. O produced the first one. So it's, it is it is a change. Um, I, they yeah, it's, it's part two. Young M.A.'s debut album, Her Story, In the Making, 21 tracks, a little bit too long for me. There is some music for me to bump in the gym. There is some music for me to bump in the car. As far as full rotation listens, I'll probably do one more through just because it's the debut. And there's going to be some things to just catch my ear. I think it's the average debut. People in New York might love this. I do think overall people won't really like this. She does have bars. That doesn't take away from her bars. That doesn't take away from her lyrics. She does her thing lyric-wise. You know, most of these tracks you could find verses. You could find quotables. She has them. She can rap. We all know that. But I think it just went a little bit too long. I think a few songs were out of place. A few songs not needed. But the songs that hit, they hit. Shout out to Young and May on her debut album. It should do well. Hope people listen. Check it out on any major streaming platform. D. Crenny. Please hit that sub button. Please like the video. Thank you. Holla.